This is Basketball Kings PDX. I'm your host, Troy Elberry, along with my co-host, Kamal Herndon. Today, our guest is nine-time NBA All-Star, NBA champion with the Miami Heat, two-time Olympic gold medalist, two-time All-NBA selection, 1996 NBA Defensive Player of the Year, which incidentally, the only guard, point guard to ever do that in the history of the game, the 1999 USA Basketball Male Athlete of the Year and former Oregon State University All-American, Gary G.P. Payton. What's up, bro? Let me ask you something. What, man? Did I miss something? Did you have to read all of that? If you know me, man, <laughs> why the hell are you reading it? You well, should be knowing that off the top okay, of your well, dome, man. All, you know what I'm saying? I was your props, man. I didn't want to forget anything. Did I forget well, something? I don't have to read nothing of you. You know why I did it? Former yellow man of the year. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all good. <laughs> Listen, man. It's all good, man. I'm with it, man. Okay, I, know, I know all your stats. Can I holler at you, huh? Can I holler at you for a second? Do you? Listen, man. man, the only reason I even read that is because mm -hmm. I thought that's the only, the probably, probably the only time I'm gonna get to talk. Because your mouth is so big, you're gonna talk, you're gonna take over the whole show, man. So well, we're not gonna even pay ahead. attention here no more. This is what we talking about right here. Let's just do his, man. Exclude him, man. Let's start it off. You ready to start yeah, it off? Yeah, let's start it off. All right. Well, my <laughs> I got a question with yeah. you, man. My first question is, uh, Walk me through the trash talking episode between you and Michael Jordan. It looked very intense, and I'm about to shut up. Well, you know what? During the, during the time when I was in the NBA, he was the man. You right. know what I'm saying? So my my mentality was always to always take the tougher guy. Uh, even growing up in the streets of Oakland, when I go to neighborhoods, I want to play the best player because I'm going to talk the most trash. So Michael was a was always a pleasure for me to guard. You know, everybody say, was he the toughest? No, I don't think he was the toughest. He was the funnest for me to guard because what I was trying to do is, is I was trying to prove to them people that I can be somebody of great as a great scorer and then go back at him because a lot of people were scared of him. Right. And when you're scared of somebody, it's, it's never going to work. So when you make somebody understand that you're not scared of them and they're a premier player and you go back at them, it's going to put them on their toes and say, okay, this this dude ain't scared. Right. He's got offensive skills too, and he go back. And he ran his mouth a lot, like I did. Right. And I wasn't backing down, and he wasn't backing down, and that's why it was so fun. It was competitive. And we can say anything to each, each other during that time. We can talk about anybody's parents, uh, anything. It wouldn't take it personal. Mike right. talked here? Yeah, he did. Absolutely. So I, I worked out by myself. I don't go and play pickup basketball. I didn't do that type of things. These guys are buddy, buddy, buddy. Their best friends. Right. You know, that's why they're teaming up with each other on each other's right. team. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm never going to go to Michael Jordan's team after he beat me in 1996. I'm ready to get back at your ass next year. Right. I'm going back at you. I'm going to try to tell you I almost had you, and I'm going to get you. You know what I'm saying? So that's just the way the game goes. And now they're starting to guard everybody. Right. They're starting to guard it. Right. And Durant is starting to guard LeBron. Right. Uh, uh, Westbrook has always done it. Man, done don't it. never ever yeah. put him away from him. Right. He, he's yeah. a dog. Yeah. So he's been doing it all his career. You know what I'm saying? So they're starting to do it now because they're starting to understand uh, that's what people want to see. Right. People don't want to see you going over here guarding that person. Right. Yeah. They want you to guard that dude because y'all right. both are the premier players on your team. So it's starting to happen it wouldn't happen back in our day but like i said again this is their era absolutely back down memory lane young gary payton in the nba doing what he does man I, you know you know i know mm -hmm. there's some stories some legendary stories about gp man you know hanging out kind of late at night but still getting up and serving somebody for 26 points 15 assists and maybe by seven seven dimes eight nine dimes and and three steals. Mm -hmm. Best NBA cities in the NBA. <laughs> I'm asking you, bro. Me, you. really, all of them, because I always made it always the best city in the city. <laughs> yeah, that's just the way the game was. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like you said, I used to, I used to party. You know what I'm saying? And I partied hard. You know, and and that was just. I don't. I'm not gonna say it was a. It could have been a gift. It's just something that just happened. Right. I can go out at night and, and I can drink all night and then I can get up in the morning and get somebody 30 and 40. Right. That's just the way the game was. Yeah. Most people can't do that. I would never condone it to anybody to do it because right. that's not the right way to do it, but that was the way I did it. You know, and that's where I got successful. I didn't affect 
my team or myself when I went to go to work. That was the, that was the thing that, that happened. When I went to work, I was ready to work. Right. And then I gave, I was productive at it. And so the cities I went to is, I had a lot of guys with me. I had a posse. I was probably the first one to take a posse. Uh, I had all my hood partners from, from the streets. I brought five of them, five of them with me. I, I, I supported them and they watched my back. So it was like, we went out and party. That's what we did. <laughs>